I'm going to start out stabilizing this piece of maple burl I had rough turned ages ago, set it aside. You drown it in a heat setting resin, throw it in a vacuum chamber, pull all the air out of it, and then when you break the vacuum, the resin impregnates into the, gets sucked into the pores of the wood, then you cook it in an oven uh, to set the resin, and you end up with this rock hard piece of plasticized wood. Then uh, use a sheet of plastic to uh, make a mold. I use rice uh, to figure out how much resin I need to mix up to fill my mold, molds. A little trick I learned. Uh, this is Lumalite Slow Clear. I think the finest resin for turning. Uh, mixing up two colors, a dark blue and a copper. Uh, a lot of pearl powder in there. Uh, I get my colors pretty much set with the first half, then throw the hardener in. Alumalite mixes one to one by weight, not volume, and it's very picky. Uh, after I'm mixed up, I throw it back in the vacuum chamber to outgas most of the big bubbles off. Don't have a lot of time to work with this stuff, but um, then slow pour and then throw it in a pressure tank for several hours. Uh, and the Air pressure at 70 pounds compresses any bubbles that do remain, so they're generally too small to see. It also forces the resin into all the little nooks and crannies, and uh, it's just great for alumalite. Uh, now, I'm hollowing this piece out from the end, and I'm going very, very slowly, because a, a piece like this, trying to hollow it out from the end, unsupported like this, if you get too aggressive... Uh, you can knock that thing out of square with a chuck and you end up getting a wobbly piece and getting all kinds of chatter and can actually be quite dangerous if it moves. So very slow, very cautious. And I'm going to finish this piece in cyanoacrylate super glue when it's all said and done. So I decided to seal and build my layers up on the inside of this now. Uh, then the old tennis ball in the end trick to support that piece while I work on it from the side. Uh, without that kind of support, you'd be out of luck. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, I decided this was going to be a goblet. And there was... I always say the wood tells you what it wants to be. Uh, I was... I have some resin down in the bottom half of this that I thought about making some kind of thicker pedestal base to keep some of that resin in the base and it just it just wasn't going to work so I finally decided to just put a more traditional stem on it like I was originally planning on. Now I would have made a thinner stem on a piece like this normally but there again the wood tells you what it wants to do and there was some wonky inclusion in the the top end of the stem in the wood from the burl so uh I had to leave it a little thicker but i like the shape there i'm using a dye stain that i use to pop the grain uh pop the figure on figured maples like this uh, i the dye stain penetrates into the end grain and soaks in deeper uh, than it does on the surface grain, and then I just sand it off. So you end up with the surface grain being pretty much what it was, but that dye penetrates into the deeper curl and really pops that figure. And here I'm building up all my layers of super glue. Uh, then I'll, once I get the thickness I want, I'll level it out uh, with a sanding just to get all the high spots off. And then I usually clean it off and come back in uh, with another couple of swipes of a, a real thin super glue uh, just to replace some of what I polished off. Then a whole series of wet sanding uh, from 800, 1000, 1500, 2000, and 2500. And then after I'm done with all the wet sanding, I come in with an automotive rubbing compound and uh, the stuff works great on cyanoacrylate really takes a hard polish and i decided to throw a layer of wax over top of it and really buff it up now here i'm parting this thing off and i am nervous as heck because of all the time i have into this piece and i'm also 
way closer to the chuck than I should have been. I uh, had a little stem left over to carve off. Uh, since this was going to be a real showpiece, I got the laser out and burned my brand on it. Uh, now, since the rest of the pieces of this super high gloss cyanoacrylate finish, I got to do the bottom because that's what somebody who's crazy about this does. So I seal off the brand and level everything, uh, level the burnt part up with a whole lot of CA, then sand most of it back off again and go through the same cycle of wet sanding through all my different grades and polishing and uh, doing it very gently to not knock it off of these cold jaws because this thing is so shined up. I don't want to scratch it or mar it and here we have the finished piece and it is a stunner these pictures really do not do it justice uh, the 3d character of this resin uh, got the opacity really well love it thanks for watching